Here at ABC 10, we're excited to have a community grant program through our Tegna Foundation. Through this program, we are able to serve the greater good of our communities by supporting nonprofit activities right here in our own backyard, which is why we're excited to have on one of our Tegna recipient winners. Joining me today from World Relief Sacramento is Office Director Carrie Ham and Children and Youth Coordinator Michaela Sinek. Welcome to the show. Well, thank you, Aubrey, for having us. Yes, first of all, Carrie, tell me, what is World Relief? World Relief, for you know those of you that don't know, is a it's a global nonprofit. We've been in operation for 76 years. Started in the aftermath of World War II to solve the world's greatest problems. Operating in over 100 countries. Wow! And you're right here in Sacramento. We are. There are 17 offices in the U.S. We're here in Sacramento. Our Sacramento office has actually been here since 1989. Wow, wow, so you guys have been around for a while. Now talk about the um, Welcome Club. When did that start? Sure. So the Welcome Club started about a year and a half ago, and it was actually just because two volunteers saw a need in our community. Um, there's a lot of apartment complexes that have a lot of our clients, and so we started in a park, and now we've um, had the opportunity to expand to a school, and we're going to be opening our second school site this month. So it's Fast, fastly um, growing, so it, we've been really excited. When you say welcome club, so I guess you're welcoming people. What exactly mm. do you do? Yeah, so we um, we focus on character lessons like responsibility, respect, empathy, and we incorporate those teachings into team building exercises, discussion groups, um, sports, we play a lot of soccer, um, and arts and crafts to help the kids understand what those words mean here in the U.S. and how they use them in their everyday lives. Well, I'm sure you're making quite an impact using the Welcome Club, right? What kind of impact is it making? Um, we've seen so much growth in these kids. They come in very shy, unengaged, uncomfortable. They don't speak the language. And we've been very fortunate to have, um, over the last year, we've had certain kids who have gone above and beyond. And, and now they're leaders within our group, so then they become translators, and they have like a buddy system. And I want to back club. up a little bit. How do um, your clients come to you? Sure, and I'll, I'll jump in. You know, one of the things that we do is we help refugees and immigrants that come to Sacramento begin to gain that first amount of stability and then ultimately thrive and become self-sufficient. Uh, five years ago, uh, we were an office of five and only focused on the first three months. And now we are an office of over 26 and we are operating English classes, things like the Welcome Club. Our goal is to help people belong. We're really proud to be in Sacramento. Sacramento is actually the most welcoming city in the U.S. More refugees have come to Sacramento than any other city and it's people like the Tegna Foundation and our supporters that actually help make these programs possible. That's awesome. Seems like you guys are making a big difference. Now what does it mean for you to receive this grant from the Tegna Foundation? Grants and support like this are essential uh, whether it's from you know, our partners like the Tegna Foundation or our supporters, what it means is we're able to help the whole family and we're able to have more programs. 10,000 people have come in the last five years, which means there's two to 3,000 of those as children. And so we're able to, you know, as a parent, you really don't ever feel like you belong if your children aren't thriving. True, very and true. And so now we're able to serve the whole family. And I'm sure that this grant will help to support the wonderful outreach you do and the programs and that the clients and the people you do have, in co have coming through. And it's because you rely on kind of the help of the community in these grants. You guys are gonna have an event coming up, right? Talk about Absolutely. that event. Yeah, so we're gonna have our second Winter Cup. It's gonna be a refugee youth um, boys tournament. Has two age brackets, 12 teams. It's gonna be a, a pretty fun day. So we're talking soccer? Oh yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> indoor, indoor or futsal. A lot of the kids call it futsal. futsal. And I guess it's a fun mm -hmm. way for them all to um, you know, have fun, but still, you know, keep in mind the very important work that you guys do and help support that. How do people get involved and how can they participate? We need people in any type of volunteer uh, opportunity. We have them in the Welcome Club, uh, whether you want to be an English assistant, help behind the scenes if you're a people person, come volunteer. The programs don't work without volunteers and donations. The more donations that we have, the more support, the more people we're able to serve. So please get involved. Go to our website and yeah, okay, get involved. Okay, awesome. So that event is coming up January 25th. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having us and thanks for, to the yes, Foundation. Yes, for more information, visit worldreliefsacramento.org. This interview involves commercial content. The products and services featured appear as paid advertising.